Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, the money season, the final season, the final season with 64 players in anyway, um, basically the last one, probably the last one that I'll cast many games from, um, and obviously going to cast all of the games, we've got Kruppi with Chorfs, and an instant Kaz, versus Spartacus with Underworld. Obviously, normally this match you would say a huge favourite, the Chorfs. But the, it's not the best Chorf team ever, right? There's a lot of Mighty Blow, to be fair. A lot of Mighty Blow. There's no pomp. I guess this is pretty good for beating Underworld, right? So while it's not the best Chorf team, it's pretty flipping good for beating Underworld still. Uh, but. There's a strength four, Claw Mighty, who was apparently taking. Oh, he's got animosity. I thought that was Break Tackle. I was like, what is he taking? Not Juggernaut. I thought it was Juggernaut. I thought he's taken Juggernaut, Mighty Blow. What the hell? But no, he hadn't taken Juggernaut. Good. I've seen people take Juggernaut before. It's mental. This one isn't, though. This one's Horns and Jump Up. Amazing. And this one's Strength four. And Claw. That's just a Lino. And then the other Blitzer's Claw Pun. So. Two claw pommers, one with tackle, one with jump up and horns, and the strength four claw mighty. Absolutely amazing. Amazing blitzes. Three amazing people who can blitz, and obviously the troll is strength five as well. So two really good claw guys, and two really good claw pommers. It's a bit of bloody bloody, but yeah, that's a claw pommer. Well, it's not the alignment, oh god, so he blitz without pom, that's not good. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, Kruppi's obviously really good as well. Spartacus is pretty good. I would give the coaching advantage to Kruppi. No offence to Spartacus. I realise you're not allowed to say anything these days that anybody might take offence to, but you know. <laughs> I don't care. My opinion is that Kruppi is better at Blood Bowl than Spartacus. That's okay, you're allowed to have an opinion, aren't you? Some people have the opinion that Cristiano Ronaldo is better than mine in Muscle, don't they? So who knows? I did not ask them if I, if I could stream the replay again, no. Um, but you know, I'm from the Watcher generation, not the, du not the Doer generation, so... <laughs> that means I can just do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> What an absolute loon that guy is. That was, the, that was the best value in the whole thread, wasn't it? So what he could have done here is... Let's pause it. Could have put an assist in here, couldn't he? Blitz from there, and then chained him into there, and then him into there, and then he could have got an extra block. That would have been a nice little thing to have done. If you ask me. One of the takes of all time, I was on it. Yeah, it was incredible. Like, imagine making the worst post in those two threads recently. <laughs> I did like the guy who said he was, he was what, he was pulling down the veil, that was it. He wasn't lifting up the veil, he was pulling down the veil. <laughs> By just quoting my stream. It's... <laughs> Oh my god, he rerolled it into the skulls. Oh my god, instant hit on the ball. Well, this isn't going great for the Chorfs, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this one could get it with Holmes in there. Oh, he's not hitting the ball. Oh, lovely, lovely play. Why hit the ball carrier when you can just try and claw on a claw guy? You gotta respect it. You gotta respect that. Who can say <laughs> if it's good or bad? <laughs> like, you do have to respect that, honestly. Like, it's stupid, but claw pomming. Claw pomming a claw mighty chorf. I mean, it's not the right thing to do. But it's, it's a valid strategy. It's not absolutely the wrong thing to do, right? That's the thing. It's not the right or wrong thing to do. It's probably wrong. 
I would err on the side of saying it's wrong. But claw pumping things is so powerful that just claw pumping a dude has got some value. But I mean, okay, it was wrong. He was wrong. <laughs> can obviously hit the ball. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but it's not as bad as it looked. It wasn't as bad as it happened. Whoa. Sure feet. Popped. Does them all anyway. Love to see it. Classic chore play. We've had the classic underworld play than the classic chore play. Maybe should have get the uh, got the trolls stuck in somewhere, eh? Getting sent off for a stun, what do the chorfs do? They get a KO. For no sent off, so yep. The, the dice on the side of creepy so far. I mean, apart from the reroll in a dub skulls, which wasn't taken advantage of. <laughs> but that was the choice of Spartacus, wasn't it? I, can't, I, can't, I will answer after this match, Krista. I can't. I can't do it now. It's a decent one. Though. Okay. There you go. Like it's not bad. Um, I think it's Windows 10. Oh, he's stunned. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. Shigant. Shigant! But yeah, this is one of the things where, like, normally, like, a team with a couple of claw bombs is better than a Mighty Blow Spam team. But against Underworld, the Mighty Blow Spam is pretty strong, isn't it, actually? Getting to make just loads of it, like, you know, pinning the crap Underworld in place and getting to tear off on them. Loads of blocks is pretty expensive. It's not falling to pile on. You know, okay, you need them to get the activation there, but like, you've got to play in such a way as that you can pile on them. What you need to be doing. In the world. And that, like, if you're not going to hit the ball. If you're not going to hit the ball when you get an instant 2D on the ball. Yeah, yeah, Underworld's significantly better on Fumble, if you can run Fumble. <laughs> if you haven't got some insane problem that no one understands. That makes it feel as bad as Blood Bowl 3. Imagine that. I do find it funny that whatever problem I have with Fumble, oh my god. Makes it as bad as a game that people have, you know, charged. People have spent months working on uh, charging full price for as a proper video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Apple comes in, instant apple on the badly hurt. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad half for Spartacus. So, uh, 
It's not GG, right? You okay? Well, it's not good to uphill. So. Um. It's. He literally should have just laid on the ground and done a dodge, and so, so he fell off. <laughs> then he gets DP fouls, doesn't he? So, but it's better than getting mighty gold, colour, claw, mounted, and then getting fouled. Is the problem, isn't it? Like you're still getting, you're still getting gang fouled. You're just getting claw mounted first. It seems like the only inducements were uh, bomber dribble smash. Seems to be the only inducement in there. I didn't even see that little goblin. The chops are, yeah, the chops are very lean. I mean, so are the underworld, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, well, isn't it lean? They're just a bit bad, right? The chops are a bit bad. Like, uh, the, the, the blockers are decent. But like 20 TV on each of these makes them so much better. And then he's got a rookie, rookie bow, which is a bit crap. So. Yes, they are. Yeah. If they win. <laughs> They're not there yet. Getting to claw pop the DP. Pretty yeah. Does nothing. <laughs> yeah, maybe more. <laughs> how, how far away are we? 48. 39. So yeah, he could easily get two cars. That that just getting club, getting pounds on makes him so much better. Wow, well, that's probably why you'd be going on the first round, uh, Nolly. I mean, this is not an easy match, still, right? This is not an easy match for the Chuffs. There's two full Claw Pommers on the, and two Claw Mighties on the uh, Underworld. It's a very, very, very dangerous Underworld team. Yep. It's a very dangerous Underworld team. Problem is, if you do that, then you're not taking the Claw Mighty hits, right? It's the guy who's on 48 that you want to actually still win the game. If it was the second half, then it's a hand off thing for sure. <laughs> no greed, no respect, no second round match. <laughs> Going to the Artemis School of uh, Chalice Matches. <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, this is... Uh... Oh, so it's like trying to hedge your bet, isn't it? And still have the throw. Honestly, with just a movement... Oh, it's movement eight. Mm. It's still a bit shit, isn't it? Has he got two heads? He does have two heads, but this is not the way to do it right, the whole method. The whole method is absolute trash. That's just bad play. Just absolutely bad play from there. That's just bad. Like re-rolling it as well, right? Just don't re-roll, and then you've got the re-roll for the uh, goblin toss. 
that's the whole point. If you're gonna if you're gonna half ass if you do it to uh, have the backup plan of the goblin class, then don't spend the reroll on it. Yeah, should have had the reroll there available. And then could have gone forward and thrown it and might have, might have scored. But yeah, the whole method is real. To be fair, m maybe it was correct to have the backup play with the throw team. And maybe he didn't have enough players to do a really good one turn attempt. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I don't know everything. But if you're trying to score with a move, it's wrong. <laughs> That's for sure. This is nice chaos for uh, Spartacus. Still on 11, but um, is it 11 versus 11? 10 versus 11. No, 11. Yep, 11 v 11, and down a bull. Okay, how goblin doesn't matter. And he's only down goblins. So, good trade, really. The problem is, of course, in terms of if it goes to overtime, these guys can come back and carry as well. I mean, depends on your definition of best. <laughs> King on this. Dep depends on your definition of best. <laughs> Glorious dude. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, d I don't know if you. I, I don't know when when you said it. <laughs> but hello and thank you. <laughs> Ten minutes ago. Wow, well, sorry. <laughs> what can I say? I suck at streaming. It's not my fault. Instant reroll. With the only way he wins is overtime. And honestly it might be the correct move to do, right? If you don't reroll it, you get stuck on him. Hit with mighty blow, fouled. He blocks him, blitzes the goblin and gets gang foul off. So Juggernaut would have actually been alright for him there. Problem is though, you're not getting the pylon, isn't it? That, that's the thing. Lack of curl palm for Krupi. Just getting mighty blow hits on the is plenty good enough, uh, as proven. Well done, Jim. Just hold the center. Stand it. Don't get in the bull range, buddy. Not in bull range. Go for the dodge foul. I think he will foul. No, he doesn't. But, I mean, I didn't like the foul. I just thought he was going to. Because he's like. I mean, it, maybe he's not even that bad. Like, it's a bad foul, but again, if you're behind, and this can get you back in it. Good to do, isn't it? A negative EV play can still be. It cannot negative EV play can still be the right play, can it? But it can be. It can be somewhat justified. Go just all the hits. The weight of hits, the weight of all these six mighty blow tackle players. Hey. 
Yeah, like that. That, but then you are. Then like the thing is, if you're gonna reroll the one in nine, maybe you shouldn't be doing the blitz. Right, like, that's the that's the thing there. Because there's a very good chance. That, well, the only way you win this game is through overtime. So you need them reroll. To remove it. Could have been a chorf. And I mean he could have uh, he could have just split this fella, couldn't he with a claw the claw bomb there? Oof. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The literal worst play. So, this is a pretty nice hit here, isn't it? Gets the stun for me. Oh, he didn't get that hit now. Then. Now then, now then, he really like wanted to power him right and then come back and then get two assists because he's strength four. He's got guard. Really want the guard in there. I mean, that would have been pretty good, right? If he's got guard in there and he blocks him and pals him and he's got loads of guard in. And now he's got a hit for you. Hit troll. Fair enough. Looks like I'm going to get one more turn of stall, but the Chorfs will have a chance to score back, I think. Painful push. So hard against the ball. And so many players. Can see a way possibly to defend the ball. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gets a cans. Woo! Miss next. Door comes in. So four turns for Krupy to win it. And there's not many. There's not many underworld left. Oh, but the KOs don't come back. And they, those KOs do come back. Wow. So ten. Ten underworld. Ten shorts. Super interesting. Rain. Oh, it's five turns to score. I thought we only had four. Five turns to score. Tilts it somewhat ahead in the shorts favour. Yeah, maybe, Ducky, maybe. Turn it over now, yeah. Yeah, and they're pretty likely to lose the troll as well, right? Like, it's not as if the troll is any tougher. He doesn't have thick skull. It's regen, so if he gets claw might, he'd... Ooh. I wonder if... Like, I know the ball's there, so you want to put the tentacle strength 5 down near there. I wonder if he should have gone here or here, so he's not getting instantly claw might. Because getting your troll instantly claw mightied isn't great. Pro tip for you there. Feel free to PayPal me 30 quid for that information. <laughs> GFI for 2D. Oh, GFI at the end for 2D. Oh no, GFI now for 2D. No, I don't like that. Nice. 
instantly removed. There you go. Called it. Yeah, I'd like to have seen the pickup first. But... Yeah, that's. I mean, that was the thing. Like, I just think with getting the perfect defense, I should not put control in. Instantly getting two dice by claw mighty <laughs> spot. That's the thing, like you know, people say about like res, you don't need to protect your players, but you still need to protect them, like in the drive, right? Like in the match, you still like you know the rule of five. You know? Like people, a lot of people say it's crap because you don't care about protecting your players to win a match, but you do. Like you still do. You don't. You don't want your troll to just get instantly removed. Devastating Brooks. Literally the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> Literally. Just, uh, just copying Dable's thing. Literally the worst player on the pitch. Often it's going to be one you've got more chance of removing, but not in this case. Yeah, Dable might as well. does apart from them not being in the opposing house, but yeah, he's glorious. Glorious. Um, it does look like the choice, but it's not over. Don't say it's over. Okay, now, now it looks over. <laughs> now you can say it's over. Yeah. Because now it's definitely it's knocked over. Moves up in the field. Is a GFI blitz? Unless he goes the other way. Oh, no. Not sure. I quite like just going through the middle here. Because you go through the middle, you get to hit a claw bomber, and then you get to hit this guy as well, which is pretty good. But I guess this way you get even further forward. A lot to be said for, for nailing the claw on there. I guess it depends how much more likely you are to score by going for this. Like makeup, not having the claw pump hit, or the claw mighty hit on the. Uh, no, it's the mighty hit. The mighty hit. Nah, it doesn't but then you're not taking one, and he's just cast you. <laughs> so there you go. He gets that guy missed next by not doing that. So, um. It is not normal. That Sparta Cold. Um, um. Sparta is, is above average. But he's not um, as good as Sparta Cold, in my opinion. Yep. 
push. Another GFI. A two GFI. Good move. It's almost certain one now, isn't it? Well, this isn't hardly anything, is it? <laughs> Blockless block, but only need a push to it. I mean that's just incorrect, wasn't it? This guy could have stood here. And then this one could have blitzed him, and it's still 3 4 5, so it's still 2D, and the push still clears. It's just that you're blitzing without block instead of with block and the 90 block. Boring but profitable. So, a pretty good win in the end, actually, like, for not the greatest chaff team. An MVP there is huge, so now one's on 48, I think, still, and the other one's on 44. So there is a chance of getting two claw bombers, and then looking like Rick's fabled uh, team that won. So, there is a chance for this team to grow throughout the tournament, but, um, yeah, pretty pretty tragic. Like, it was, a, it was a harsh draw for the Underworld, like, as good players as they had, fighting a team with six Block tackle mighty blow is just you know really likely for them to just uh, do you, isn't it? So there you go. And the underworld got done, although they did a lot of damage on the way out. So yep, well played by Krupi. Congrats to him. Commiserations to Spartacus, who also played well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>